So the field is looking burnt and dry as a husk. The horse has grazed here for a period of time and they're off it now. But what's interesting is now what's happening, this is a bit of manure that had lots of dung beetles in it. And then there's this bit of digging. This is either a badger or a hedgehog looking for dung beetles and dung beetle grubs. So it's my belief that uh, one of the issues with TB is that livestock is returned to the fields too soon. And see, bear's interested in it. And with a short rotation, manure, when it reach, reaches a certain age, is full of grubs and worms are coming up underneath and dung beetles have dug into it. And within the short rotation of what a lot of ryegrass farmers who have cows or sheep or horses do, is the, um, well, particularly cows, because that's in relation to the TB. Do you see, he's, they're all interested in that dug hole because it probably has the musky smell. I'd say it's badger. And the, um, so if there was a longer rotational period with multi-species sward, which you can have, a longer rotational period by the time the cattle come back into the field when the sward is for them to graze again, this effect, the badger and the cow won't meet because that manure will have dried out, the insects will have gone, gone underground, flown away, evolved or whatever. Whereas now, if the cattle came back in, they would be meeting the badger and that's where the transfer of TB occurs. Be it the badger TB to the cow or the cow TB to the badger. So that's still an issue people don't want to uh, or haven't figured out which way it goes. Is it the badger to the cow or the cow to the badger? But when a badger is looking for its food, it goes to the piles of manure which are rich with insect life hopefully rich with insect life. But with the porons and wormers, that is decreasing. So the badgers are getting more and more desperate. So it's a vicious cycle, which means a farmer who has, doesn't have a multi-species sward, has a short rotation, has a, a ryegrass sward, means that their badger and their cow population meet more often. So, you know, these things will happen. Look, and everybody says overgrazing. Here I've got some lovely, um, here's some chicory, some beautiful chicory bro blooming. And the sheep have been on this field, the horses have been on this field. So there's bits of chicory about the place. That's just one close to where I am. And I hand cast chicory. I didn't sow it in. This field has never been plowed or harrowed. Uh, so there, that's my uh, thought about badgers and TB and the manure cycle of how when it goes back into the soil it takes some time and when you give it more time to go back into the soil be digested and used by the insects and in soil it's less likely to have badgers and cows meet in the field. So that's why with a multi-species sward with a longer rotation of 30 even 60 days particularly 60 days would be excellent because then the manure would be completely absorbed into the land and you wouldn't have badgers and cows meeting to transfer the TB because cows are curious and they'll go up and sniff around what the badger's digging at and eating. So that's my thought on the subject of badger and TB and cows is short rotations lead to a more likelihood of TB occurring because of the badger's food source.